Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today I'm doing a Golden Age comic book haul video. I did one about a week and a half ago, so if you want to check that one out, uh, you can. A few cool books that I showed there. I have a few even uh, cooler books here, in my opinion, that I want to show today. Um, so yeah, let's get started with it. And I'm actually going to show one pulp that I picked up uh, at the end. So, uh, first one that I'm going to show here is a Georgie Comics uh, number 17. Um, great book. I couldn't pass up for the price that I paid for it. So this uh, Georgie Comics number 17, it's a lower grade, but presents uh, beautifully, in my opinion, um, a keeper in the PC. I picked this up off of an Instagram claim sale. So they had this up at 50. Um, I count. I, I offered them 35 and they counted me back to 40. And I said, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. It's a, it's a timely book, timely issue. Um, Low on the census, I, I looked this up, there's only four on the CGC census, um, and I couldn't find any raw copies. I think I found one, um, but they were asking way higher than than 40. I think they were asking like closer to like 100 bucks. And it's around similar grain, and I, and I believe it doesn't present as nice as this one. Even though that there's some spine where uh, it's a lot dirtier the cover. So yeah, I, I, I think I got a pretty good deal on this one. So yeah, this is a uh, art by Mike, or at least he did the pencils and ink um, in the interior. I'm not sure if, it, if he did the cover by Mike Sikowski. So beautiful cover in my opinion. Couldn't go wrong with that book. So yeah, uh, 40 bucks on that one. Um, next up here, I picked up a, a real life comics number two. So this is an Alex Schomburg cover. And I, and I believe I paid $30 for this. Um, complete, uh, just has a bit of staining, of water stain. But as you can see, it's barely noticeable. I don't know if you, you can tell on camera. I have to get like real close on the book. Um, just a beautiful Alex Schomburg cover. Just goes to show you that you can pick up, I, I'm going to always say it in the videos, like you can always pick up great golden age for not too bad of prices. Uh, by very well-known artists in the, you know, Alex Schomburg, you know, top 10, top five, um, definitely, you know, one of the greatest uh, golden age um, artists to ever live. And I paid $30 on this one. Uh, Real Life Comics number two, also very early issue. Um, there's a few of them out there that are expensive. Like Real Life Comics number three is very expensive. Um, it's the one with Hitler on the cover, um, but this one super beautiful cover in my opinion Just look at that a lot going on um, I don't know if you can tell on the water stain, but there is a bit of staining slight staining uh, By where the kid is at or the, the guy is at here um, So just a beautiful cover a lot going on Couldn't pass this up so yeah. Pick that one up for 30 dollars uh next up what i'm gonna show is a my earliest superman that i've ever had as of now but i am getting one in even earlier than this one um that's coming in i believe by the end of next week uh, i i paid it yesterday and i bought sorry about that uh, i and i paid uh, it yesterday I bought from the seller before I'm good friends with him um, and it usually always takes about a week to get to, to where I'm at so um, so yeah so let's just show it so this is a Superman 38 um, and I actually like I mentioned I I'm waiting on one that's even uh, earlier issue number than this one but there is a cool significance about this book um, I paid I believe $120 for this one it's about a 1.0 um, you can definitely tell there's some issues on it, but I don't mind it. Um, so the significance from this key is that this was actually, this story was actually supposed to come out, or this issue was actually supposed to come out a bit earlier. I believe that they finally released it in like 1946 or 1947. But the problem with this book is that, uh, the reason why they didn't release it earlier, and it actually says it, I believe on the splash page from what I read about it. There is, it's an atomic bomb story. It has an atomic bomb story in it. Uh, I believe it's like uh, Lex Luthor is releasing, trying to release a, an atomic bomb and 
in the city or something like along those lines. Um, but due to back then with the situations of the atomic bomb and stuff, um, and that whole situation, um, there was heightened security and, and, you know, fear. So they decided not to release this until later. So I thought that was a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool key in my opinion, pretty cool significance. And I actually just recently watched, uh, Oppenheimer. Great film, by the way. And, you know... Uh, just in time, you know, right time, and I picked up this book, and this has some significance about the atomic bomb situation. If you guys haven't watched, uh, if you all haven't watched uh, Oppenheimer yet, I suggest you do. Uh, if you definitely like story um, and historical, you know, type uh, movies and films, and if you like documentaries and stuff, uh, definitely one worth to watch. It is a bit dense, but I don't mind dense films if they're you know, written well, and it keeps you engaged in the story. It, I, I don't have to have action in a movie. I, I mean, I love action in movies, but I don't need to have action in a movie to enjoy it. I If, if there's a good story, good acting, you know, I, I don't mind watching it. But it is long, so keep that in mind if you haven't watched it yet. But I, I thought it was a fantastic film, in my opinion. So yeah, Superman number 38. Uh, next up here, so I thought this was pretty cool. So this is a famous funnies number two seventeen. Uh, I believe famous funnies ran. So I, I think this is a pretty cool book. So first of all, this is a uh, one of the later issues. And if you guys know or don't know, um, famous funnies and the later issues are somewhat harder because they were. Um, I believe a lot of the art was by Frank Frazetta. I don't know if he did this one in specific, but I know he did some uh, previous, the issues from the previous uh, 217. Um, so, another cool thing about this, it's a Book Rogers cover, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, or it's like, a, a, like the second one that has the Comics Code Authority on the top right. Uh, this is, the, I believe, because Famous Funnies ran, you know, for a bunch of issues um, from early 1940s to mid 1950s and like 1955 this one is from 1955 i believe it only ran to like issue 218 so this is actually the second to last issue so um yeah already has the pre the uh, the comics code authority stamp on the top right um so i believe this might be actually the the one the first uh famous funnies to have that on the top right and the cool thing i picked this one up for 35 dollars um i thought it was really cool because it has a buck rogers you know so it's a buck rogers cover for 35 bucks golden age it's not pre code but still really cool oops so sorry about that <laughs> i thought i okay so uh, next up here, I'm actually going to show this one here. So, it's a, this one's a Frogman. I don't know the issue number. It was an IG comic claim, so uh, they had it for 25 I couldn't pass it up. I, I decided to pick it up. Um, just a really cool cover. I have to look more into this uh, series. Don't know much about it, but yeah. Just thought it was a really cool cover indeed, so... Let's see here. Uh, next up here. So, I don't know if I did well on this one. Uh, I forgot how much I paid. It wasn't. It wasn't much. But it was a lower grade. It's and you know now I've seen it. There's a lot of issues. This is definitely a placeholder until I, until I can find a better uh, presenting copy. It's the first romance number one by Harvey. Um, I love a bunch of the Harvey. Uh, I believe they did also First Love, if I'm not mistaken. I know in First Love, uh, there's a, a lot of uh, Bob Powell and uh, Lee Elias covers, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least uh, they did some art in those. Um, so yeah, this is the first romance number one. Very low grade copy. Has a few issues on the spine there. But just a beautiful cover in my opinion. Good girl cover, headlights cover. Beautiful cover on the beach. So, yeah, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I, 
I want to say it wasn't more than 40 bucks, but I could be wrong. So yeah. Um, this one, I, I know I, I, how much I paid for this one because I was really surprised that nobody else bid on it. I know it has some staining on the cover, or some sort of foxing or something. Um, it's a first romance number nine. This goes to show you guys, if this is a pre-code romance, you know, it's a bit lower grade. But Complete presents, I think, beautifully in my opinion. This this staining actually gives it a, a different uh, look to the uh, cover, in my opinion. Not saying that I'm going to pick start looking for stained stuff and, you know, these type of stuff. But, uh, you know, like staining and stuff. But, you know, for what I paid, I paid $9 plus shipping and tax. It came out to like 16 bucks. I wasn't going to pass that up. Um, the corners are actually, like, the top edge isn't actually too bad. Uh, there's some issues on the lower part of the spine. But the top left of the spine is really nice. Just, in my opinion, a beautiful cover, in my opinion. Nice good girl cover. Just yeah, really nice. Couldn't pass that up. So uh, next up here, we've got a Adventure Bounds. So this is on number 239. This is actually, I believe, four color 239. But uh the story on this one is Adventure Bound. I actually um saw this on a Night Tiger Comics video ever since I saw it. It was a recent one too that he did. Um and this one was, he said he, he didn't pay much for it. So I, I went on uh, eBay and started looking for a nice presenting one. Uh, I paid eight bucks plus shipping and tax on this one. So I couldn't pass it up and presents very nicely in my opinion. That's a few issues, but you know, just like general wear, nothing too crazy on this one. Uh, beautiful cover in my opinion. Like I said, guys, just goes to show you that you can find golden age. I'm, I'll always say it in my videos. Uh, there's people on Instagram that always uh, message me. Um, oh man, it's hard to find Golden Age for cheap. I, you know, and I, I understand there's a bunch of series and stuff out there that are very expensive, but you can find some really good ones for that does not break the bank at all. So here's a Dixie Dugan number seven. I believe this is like the second volume or second series, if I'm not mistaken. But just a beautiful cover. Did not pay, like, I think the most that I paid was the Superman that I showed. Uh, none of the other books I paid uh, much at all. Um, very cheap on the low end of prices. So I was very happy um, with the prices I paid on these. So Dixie Dugan, number seven. Uh, you got a little bit of a skirmish there. Guy probably cheating on them or something. I'm not sure. And uh, he didn't know that they were friends. So huh, he's in a lot of trouble there, but just a beautiful cover. Nice, good girl cover there. And then this is a really nice one. So Fiction House, I really love Fiction House. They've done a bunch of great um, series. Well, they did, uh, you know, they have Rangers comics, they have uh, fight, flight comics, um, uh, sorry, fight comics. They have Jumbo, Jungle Comics. I love those series. Um, and, you know, this one I picked up for $45. Look at this, guys and gals. You have um, Bondage cover. You have a Headlights cover. You have Western on there. I mean, I'm a big fan. I know Western is a bit more underappreciated. Uh, it's not as popular as the other genres. But I am a big Western fan, if you all don't know. Um, so, this is a Western cover. Super Super cool book. You've got Bonded. You've got, uh, you know, there you've got there like a village burning in the background. You know, damsel in distress. Uh, he's saving her or something. I'm not sure uh, what's happening there. But yeah, just a super cool cover. Um, has a cool date stamp too from February 10th of 1950. So it's my uh, birth year. Not my, very close to my birth date. That would have been cool. It would have been February. Uh, not, not, not birth year, sorry. Um, uh, the, the month. It's my birthday month. Very close to my actual day, but it's, uh, I was born on February 12th. Uh, this one says February 10th. Um, but yeah. Um, it would have been cool if it would have said February 12th. That would have been cool. It would have been the same month as my, same month and day as my birthday. But beautiful cover. Really nice one there. 
and then uh, last but not least if I can find it now so last but not least this is another uh, four color uh, number 132 another Amazing good girl cover. It's a Tilly the Toiler uh, four color number 132. Look at that purple, deep purple on that. Um, it's like a purple cover. Good girl cover. Bunch of dudes in the back um, having a crush on the girl, talking about her or something. Um, just a really nice cover. Um, so yeah. And I picked this one up for. I believe it was 25 bucks on this one um this one actually i believe i picked it up along with one of the other books i've shown i showed it was from instagram so but yeah uh i appreciate you all for watching oh wait sorry last thing uh i wanted to show you all the pulp that i picked up so i've been trying to get into the pulps and i, I thought this was a really good one to pick up very low grade but just a nice presenting uh, one just to have. Um, it's a Fantastic Adventures. I don't know the number on it. Um, but yeah, just beautiful cover on that. Um, I believe from 1950, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it seems like it's a painted cover. Just a lot going on. So beautiful cover there. Um, that's another one that I want to get into in like Pope's. Uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of actually the same uh, golden age comp companies back in the day um, that did pulps and stuff. So and a bunch of artists, you know. So I'm I'm gonna try to get more into pulps. Uh, I know that some are expensive, but it's just like golden age. You can still find great ones for very cheap. So, um, but yeah. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Uh, I appreciate you all, and I'll, I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.